<laughs> so for the fob, we used a set of three LEDs to choose which state or which candidate we were going to choose for the election. That is chosen through one of these buttons, specifically the first one right here. And then through UDP protocol, we send a message on a 38 kilohertz carrier signal through this IR LED from one fob to another using this button here. When I said UDP, I meant UART. Through UART and using the IR LED, we are sending a packet of data containing a start byte, the voter ID, the sender ID, the leader ID, and then finally the color of the vote sent. One of the interesting things about our system is that when we send a vote to another FOB uh, for checking, it changes the color of the LED on the other FOB. So the second So our project used UDP broadcasting, which means that each host is sending it all over the network. Now, each host uh, sends out an election signal with its own PID. Then we're able to do the bully algorithm to elect a new leader. Once the leader is elected, only the leader sends out a new code for the, uh, the updates of the heartbeat. The leader heartbeat happens once every second, and if it's gone for 10 seconds, then the leader is re-elected and the whole process begins again. If a vote is sent in through the IR fobs, we send the leader, a the leader sends a code over UDP to inform the Raspberry Pi that a vote has been cast, which we then log in our database. UDP is a terrible protocol, and it is really hard to implement in C, but I think that it has great potential and will and will really improve the communication we have in our elections. Too many barriers are put in front of people, stopping them from receiving fair and equitable elections, and we need to find a way to light up their lives. <laughs> so, our node web server is hosted on the Raspberry Pi and is receiving UDP broadcasts from uh, the leader in the election. Uh, it's taking the data packets from the leader and storing them in a Tingo database uh, all locally. Uh, the web client that we have is, is sending HTML get requests to, uh, to our node server, which goes into Tingo uh, and is able to uh, send the data, all the data out that we need in order to display everything nice on our HTML page. <laughs>